guys, welcome back to another episode of Space Chicken. As always, this is Jason. And uh, our spaceship and everything is off that way. Do I have... Huh. I guess I did not keep that. Ah, oh, I bet it's on the spaceship. Alright, so... Well, 165. I don't know what that number means, but it means we need to not waste our time here. So, uh, where we left off last time, I had killed the boss in the other place, and I said I would found another one of these, and this is the other one of these that I had found. Um, and this is what I was saying is a little bit different, because there's not like a chest right here at the start and stuff like I'm used to seeing. So, uh, yeah, a little bit different, kind of the same. We'll see if it's any different once we get inside of here, though. There's definitely more spider webs. Um, so, today I want to, to see how we can... That's weird. Why is there a torch off? Uh, how we can progress here. Why is there so few mobs nowadays? Man, look at all these arrows. And all these buckets of water. Um, I want to see how we can progress as far as um, building. Yeah, this one's a lot different. I'm getting lots of this iron, though. That's what I want. Uh, building the... the the airframe locks and stuff like that and what we needed was this iron in order to do that so this will be good and maybe maybe we'll get a moon buggy schematic because that's something else I would like to build but I don't have the schematic and everyone keeps saying build the moon buggy and I want to build the moon buggy man who wouldn't want to build a moon buggy um, but uh, Gudno have recipe for a moon buggy Gudno able to build moon buggy Why is this place so different? Is it, is it like two of them came together or something? Or have I found a completely different, like is there a different boss at the end of this one you think? Looks very similar. Use our tried and true um, way of killing this guy. Don't, don't shoot me bro. Okay, now I win. This is so silly, man. Uh, it just feels wrong, but it feels so right at the same time. I really hope that uh, this guy's got better loot. Oh, you hit me. Good job. You're dead, guy. Die. So much XP. Alright, I just want to get to level 30. That was my main goal there. And there it is. It's like, where's this key, man? It's so hard to damn see. Alright, boss is too easy, though. Maybe I shouldn't use that method anymore. Fuck! Is that all that drops of these things? Is that again and again and again? Am I just getting unlucky or what, man? Get the hell out of here with that. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> Well, never mind that. It's all sad and everything, but we'll just forget that happened. Um, I'm going to head my way back over to our rocket and go ahead and go back to Earth and cook up. Well, maybe go to space. Well, no, I'll just go to Earth um, or the overworld or whatever, whatever we're calling it these days. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and make the sensor goggles so that we can come back and see exactly what those do. Because I really don't know. Supposedly they uh, they make it easier to see see certain things on the surface here. But again, I haven't ever used them, so I don't know. I'm, I'd be lying to you if I told you something right now. Uh, but these these areas are starting to make me angry, though, man. Because of the fact that I don't need another fucking schematic for uh, <laughs> one of those. And you know what's sad is I don't have any blocks to get out of here with. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'll make my way back over to, to our stuff here, and I will be back with you guys momentarily. So, here's something interesting. Apparently, where you land on the surface is relative to where you take off on the moon. Today I learned, <laughs> I should say, because I did not know that. And since I took off on the moon, somewhere different than normal, that's a weird, uh, where's that gonna land? Is that going in the water? Son of a bitch. Also gonna land on top of the water. Oh, 
Oh, right. I'm not on the moon anymore. There's fall damage. I'm glad I didn't die, man. Because I certainly would never find this place again. So, let's see how far away from... Holy crap, man. We're a thousand blocks away from home. Well, welcome to your new home, everybody. Huh. I had no idea, man. I don't have inventory room for all this crap. I thought it would be laying right beside my house, so I wasn't worried about it. Hmm. Well, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, and I'm a little sad about it. You know what I don't need? Ten of these. Uh, well, I'm going to make my way back over the house. I just wanted to show you guys this random jungle I've landed in in the middle of the night in the rain. <laughs> and I'll see you guys when we're at home. Alrighty, we're back here on the surface. And uh, just I had to take Wilson out because uh, Mayor, Mayor Goldie Wilson's up top. So I took go regular Wilson out to uh, to get us some wood, cause got 30 levels again. So you know what that means. And I'm using all kinds of different types of axes here. I'm so unorganized. Um, but yeah, 30 levels again. So let's make yet another pick, and let's hope we get a better better enchant uh, than we've been getting. I need to just let Etho log in over here for a minute and make me an enchant. <laughs> Come enchant my stuff, Etho. I think he, uh, I think he paid Dinnerbone to, uh, to give him, like, a line of code that makes his enchant. It's just amazing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. God. Yes! Fortune 3! Finally! Alright. Alright. Who needs eat though? Put that in there. Alright, so anyways. Let's make us some sensor goggles here. Alright, so what do I do with those two sensor balls I made? There they are. Alright. Sensor goggles. Could be in range of the thing. Sensor goggles. Wait, how do we... Sensor goggles. <laughs> there we go! Got it! Alright, sensor glasses. How do we put... Does it go on my head? Oh, look at me! Woo! Look at my HUD. That's what she said. Check me out, Wilson. Woo! What was that? It said something. Advanced mode off. How do I turn it on? V. No, I didn't do anything. I want to go to advanced mode. Am I not advanced enough for you? <laughs> I wonder how I go between modes. Um. So yeah, I don't know what all this does. We'll have to go to the moon and see what we see. See what we see. Alright, so let's put these in here. Um, so what's that lady with? Six, huh? And airframe. That airframe takes three per, so we need... I think we did this math last time. So we need four of those. I need 12 of these, and I have 6. Alright. No big deal. We will just uh, go find some more, I guess. I got so much junk. Alright, so. I am going to get organized and take us back up to the space... Uh, back up to the moon. And we'll see what these sensor goggles do. And, uh, in fact, I guess we could just go ahead and take off. There's not really much I need to organize here. I got everything I need. I got food and stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. My armor's taking a beating in the my, my journeys. All right, Mayor. Is everything loaded up here? Oh no, I ran out of coal over here. Crap. Well, how much fuel did we get in here before that happened? Eh, that's probably enough. Let's go. So, go up to the moon. <laughs> um, see what these goggles do. Uh, try to get some more meteoric iron. And uh, maybe we'll find another... Um, three, two, one! Lift off! Woo! Uh, oops. Wrong button. I wanted to uh, steer all crazily.
Huh. Huh. So technically, we could travel around the uh, the planet. Huh. I had not tested that before. Well, that's interesting to know. Huh. I wonder how quickly the fuel goes. Pretty fucking quick. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know, though, so I could technically make a little journey around the, the planet. I didn't realize I could, uh... I wonder what happens if you crash. I would be scared to find out out of fear that my rocket would be destroyed. Because those things are hard to make. But I am kind of curious, that said. We may have to test that. Just to see what happens. Ooh! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll go up here. We'll see what we can find on the the surface with these goggles on. I guess Let's see what see what we see. Do you see what I see? I'm probably gonna land somewhere a little bit different since I. Uh, oh, I should probably hold space. Slow down! Oh my god! Hmm. Wow! I cratered right into that fucking thing, didn't I? Crap! <laughs> Dang it, man! I was slowing down, kinda. Just a little bit. Uh, where is... <laughs> Crap. Uh, just redefine, or refine some, uh... Oh, no, I... Damn it. I did not refine some stuff. I put half of what we need to refine some stuff in there. An empty canister here. So I found out a minute ago, you can combine two empty liquid canisters and it gives you oil. It doesn't really make sense to me, but uh, it does. <laughs> uh, so I imagine crashing your spaceship on the surface of the planet is very similar to crashing your, your landing pod on the moon. Alright, what we got in here? And that, and that, and that. <laughs> Damn it, man. Uh, I gotta get a landing pad for me here. This is not going so well. I have a lot of setbacks. This is like NASA in the real world, I guess. This is what we have to deal with, people. This is, NASA's full of really smart people, but sometimes things aren't don't go like you would want them to go. Um, and that's what it looks like when they don't. And I need. What else did I need? Oh, yeah, launch pads. <laughs> I, I put this these ores in here because I'm going to see if, uh, if I can cook them in the electric furnace on the space station. I feel so stupid right now. Uh, I don't have any armor. I'll take these boots, I suppose. At least I have some boots on. Well, I don't really need that. I'm assuming once I get to the surface, I can grab all my stuff back. Hopefully my landing, my destination on landing wasn't too far off from where I normally land. <laughs> um, I'll be back with you guys on the moon. Alright, coming into the moon here. Let's see if we could see... Oh, yeah, there's my, there's my crater. Now let's try to steer us a little bit here. Let's see if we can land on top of our house again, like I did before. I was impressed by that. I impress myself easily sometimes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even coming come close this time. <laughs> not even close, man. Alright, well, we made it. Whatever. I hate that it puts me in F5 mode every time. Get out here with that F5 mode. Alright. So, let's go examine our crater. What a mess. At least I didn't land on the house, I guess. Man, there's stuff spewed everywhere. <laughs> what a mess. Doesn't help my inventory was full of crap. Oh my god. So much junk. All over the place. At least I didn't hit anything important. The, the rule, if you're going to have a wreck is to aim for the least expensive thing you can see. 
So that, like, if you're if you're in a car, and your options are hit a house, hit a light pole, hit another car, or hit a tree, always hit the tree. I mean, if your options are like hit a barrier that's made of water that will slow you down and keep you alive, then hit that. But that's not always an option. I need a chest to put this crap in, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Just, just take all the stuff for now, and I will sort you later. All right. So where are these goggles at? I guess I shouldn't worry about that right now. I got stuff to pick up. <laughs> know your role, guy. Uh, man, stuff everywhere. I mainly don't want to... The same rule applies to when picking up parts of a carcass. <laughs> pick up the most expensive parts first. Because they disappear after five minutes. I don't know how you apply this to real world scenarios, but I'm sure there's some kind of application here. I'm sure of it. I don't feel like I got my oxygen tanks. I thought I saw them a second ago before I was grabbing. It'd help if you knew how to drive, guy. Then there wouldn't be a big crater on the... Well, there'd be plenty of craters on the moon, but it, at least you wouldn't be the cause of any of them. Here's something way over here. I don't feel like I got my oxygen tanks. There's stuff way over here. Oh, there's my diamond pants. Many buckets of water. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, Alright. I think I got everything I can see of value, at least. I don't see anything else I would really want. Other than these, I mean, these blocks. But who needs these blocks? Alright. So let's go see if we at least got at least one of our air canisters. I don't see a green one in my inventory right now, but that's not the one I care about. I want the red ones. I think I saw one, but I thought I saw another one that I didn't grab. Yeah, I only got one. Huh. What else did I not grab? My mask. Some of it might have got blown up, I guess. I guess that's possible. Sounds like a thing, right? I mean, you did just freaking crash into the moon. One more jump by. Oh, I think... Oh, our five minutes has passed. So, no more things to be had here. Alright, so let's put these bad boys on. With dramatic music. Okay. Well... These things don't do anything. <laughs> I did something a minute ago that made it say advanced mode off when I was close to uh, Wilson. <laughs> Spaceship! <laughs> These things don't do anything, man. <laughs> There's probably something I need to know that I don't know. I probably should look them up. Let's uh let's set up our fuel loader and stuff real quick in the meantime. And go ahead and get that stuff down just so I'm ready to leave whenever I want to leave. Coal generator. People keep telling me to put blaze rods in the coal generator, and maybe it would work. But for me, whenever something says coal generator, I feel like it only generates power when there's coal in it. I mean, again, I don't know because I haven't tested. So you guys might be right, but it just doesn't make sense to me. So if that is how it works, well, that's freaking silly. <laughs> and that's my opinion. Uh, but you guys might be right. Maybe maybe it does generate off of things other than coal, even though it's called a coal generator. I don't know. But I feel like it should not. Speaking of this issue... Do I have any coal? Okay, I do. We're fine. No problems. Uh... Alright. So that's doing its thing now. I did turn on right. Yep. 
So, let me look up this sensor goggles and see if there's something I gotta turn on or something. Because I don't, I do not know. Alright, so, sensor goggles. Supposedly, they detect ores and show them to you. Now, I saw an ore over here a second ago, so let's just test this whole thing. I think I saw an ore over here somewhere. Ah, yes. Okay, that's... Is it just... Is it like uh, aliens? Where it's like... So now there's another one. Uh-huh. Interesting. It would help find out how to cook these ores. So now there's also an advanced mode. K. I hit K. Am I now in advanced mode? I do not know. It says that if you're in advanced mode, see look over here is over here is one of the meteoric oh, I'm using my fortune pick. I don't want to be using my fortune pick. Um See these guys aren't showing up at all. And these are the ones I really need because they drop that stuff. Which is what I need to make the stuff I need. <laughs> That's so vague. But it's all true. I don't know if I'm in advanced mode or not. I'm hitting K. I feel like it should tell me like if she in advanced mode <laughs> Or something like that. Uh that's very, very strange. So let's find another... There was no one over here, wasn't there? Maybe if we find one. Because it says advanced mode gives you XY coordinates or something like that. Something. It said something. Another one showed up. Here we go. Alright, yeah. Advanced mode on it just said. Hey, do, do that again. Advanced mode off. Advanced mode on. What? Alright, it says... Advanced mode is a useful feature for the sensor goggles. Advanced mode can be turned on or off using the K key. Once advanced mode is activated, the ores will, will now move in relation to the XY axis, which allows you to more easily find ores. Alright, let's see if that one is more easily found. Oh my god, it disappeared. Okay. That kind of makes sense. So without that... Sure. <laughs> I do not know what. <laughs> this is very confusing, and it's very dark. I don't have my ghost stone. Well, these sensor goggles are not doing it for me, man. The way I want them to do it for me. Now that said, did they work on the? Did it work on the surface too? Because it looked like it kind of did. Like, when I was on the overworld, it kept saying advanced mode on and off. Was it tracking ores on the surface as well? Cool. I don't know how useful that would be, because it doesn't tell you what kind of ores they are, like diamond, platinum. <laughs> yeah, there's platinum now, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to run off this way for a second and see, see if these goggles do anything more for us. Plus, this is a direction I haven't gone in search of... Um, bosses. Not that I have a bow on me if we do find them. I do have enough to make a bow there. And a bucket of water. That's all you need. It's a bow and a bucket of water. The boss is yours. I just want to find the schematic for the moon buggy. I think, um... I think I'm going to have to do some off-camera work here to get that. Because... You guys have seen the bosses now, and now that I've worked out the whole bucket of water on the ground thing, it's just, uh, there's no excitement involved in killing the bosses. Um, now, I've heard that there's other planets and stuff once uh, once we get into the later versions of Galacticraft, so I'm, I'm really excited for Chococraft to update so that I can update to 162. Uh, so hopefully that is sooner rather than later. Well, I guess that goes without saying, though. I wonder if these sensor goggles do anything other than ore. Like, can I go have a conversation with a villager now? Or what happens if I punch a villager? Let's find out. Is this a boss area, possibly? Yep. Let's 
go lay waste to these guys. I'm here on behalf of the good planet. Whoa! He's all glowy now. Hello, my good sir. Trade with me. If your planet is meant to survive, you will have to trade. If you do not trade, I will make you stop glowing. Whoa, buddy. Now you ain't. You turn red. And now you're blue again. And now you're red. And now you're blue. And now you're gonna die. You should have traded. Well, he learned his lesson with his life. So yeah, these guys are... Hey, fella. You want to trade? Maybe if I give them something like here, take take these moon blocks. I got iron. Uh, that's probably something that's uh, been added later on. I guess is the trading. It's really weird though. I wonder if uh, there's water in there. I wonder if the mobs on the oh no, cause well he is a chocobo though. I wonder if like the chickens and stuff have different colors. I do not know. Did not test that. So which way we come from over here? Um, so alright, we've tested the sensory goggles now, we know I need to basically grind out some of this meteoric iron, which is two birds, one stone when it comes to killing the bosses, so maybe what I'll do is, um, between now and the next episode, I'll run around the moon by myself, and find us a bunch of bosses, and we'll kill them, is this a boss? Nope. Um, kill them, I wonder if there's dungeons on the moon. I bet there's not. I think it's just, uh, or spawner. You know what I mean by that, right? Um, <clears throat> I asked you and then I assumed you said yes. That said, there's some pretty intense caves down through here. Oh man, come on. Let me look around. But I don't see anything that looks anything like a spawner in any of those caves, though. Um, so yeah, between now and next episode, I'm going to run around the moon and hopefully find us a moon buggy, um, thing. And what else? Uh, get more iron so we can make an airlock so we can... I want to get something on our space station. Now, you guys keep telling me to install computer craft, and it's very tempting to do. I have to admit, it's very tempting because I love computer craft, and I wouldn't do anything crazy with it like I did on the server as far as, you know, storefronts and crazy stuff crazy storage systems and stuff like that and it would be kind of cool to have robotic wilson running the space station all those things sound awesome and great to me but i'm trying to not do that because and it would also automate my tree there's tons of awesome things i could do with computer craft and you guys are completely right when you say that but i've already done a lot with computer craft and so i want to continue with what i got here but maybe maybe that'll happen maybe we'll do that i don't know um but not right now it's too too soon too soon man too soon <laughs> Um, I guess we'll see, because I think, you know, really, if I just get a, a whole bunch of, uh, um, wood in, in a, uh, in a chest with a hopper and stuff, that it's, it's fine, I think, so, I think we'll be fine, um, yeah, but, um, I think, I think that's, uh, that's it for today, guys, we've, we've, we've had a chance to check out the sensor goggle, you've seen me fell miserably and crashing into the moon, we'll have to test a, a, a surface crash as well. Um, you know, that said, crap, I lost a rocket in that. I definitely did not get a rocket out of that, did I? Oh, yeah, man, I totally lost a rocket in that, so crashing bad, man, crashing real bad. Let's grab some of our stuff here before we head back to the surface. Yeah, man, I hate that. That sucks. <laughs> bad news um but yeah i appreciate you guys watching as always and i'll see you all next time